Hey guys, Rusty K, Rusty K's Rad Rides Garage, um, coming at you with a final on the AMT Superbug Gasser, Doombug, uh, all sorts of different variations you can do on this kit. Overall, real happy with the kit. It went together fairly well. Um, just a few user errors, obviously, that uh, I seem to uh, approach upon when I do these builds. Um, one of the weirdest things, though, about this kit is, you know, I was just doing the street version. You know, they've got it to where you can do the street version, the dune buggy, the gasser, or just the buggy, um, and or drag, I should say. And, you know, I pretty much follow the instructions, you know, uh, step by step. And got the interior done, painted the seats. You'll see a, a, a few pictures here at the end that show the, um, the completion on that. Um, and as I was putting it together... You know, I detailed the dashboard up because I was doing the street version, right? Got that all detailed up, took some time, did all that. Going through the instructions, there is nowhere in here on where to put, uh, where to fit the dashboard in here. And so I was playing around with it, trying to figure out how it would fit. Obviously, it's got a notch here to go over the steering wheel column. So I was playing with that. Didn't like any of it, how it was laying in. Um, so I just left it out. But uh, that's okay. These are shelf built for me. I will show you the build here a little closer. Really happy with, with the kit. Um, it does go together fairly well. Just a few user errors here. You can see I've got one of these exhausts just a little bit, you know, not quite lined up. Uh, the other weird thing is that the way that the body lays on the chassis, um, it got really low. Um, or lack thereof chassis, really. I mean, it's kind of a weird kit for me. I'm just not used to building a bug, so there's not a whole lot underneath um, to it. But uh, this wheel's going to fall off, it looks like. Um, so the way that the stance is, it got a little low on me, um, you can see. Um, but, you know, the paint job came out good. I like the way the engine came out. It threw me off being all chrome. But overall, I like the kit. I'll do another VW. It may not be the exact uh, super bug kit, but I will do another one of these. Um, it was a fun build. Um, again, this is the scale finishes paint that I used on this, primed with the, um, which is my go-to primer really, is is the uh, Tamiya Surface Fine Primer, um, or Fine uh surface primer. I tend to do all my um, small parts with the acrylic uh, Vallejos. Um, I really like these paints for the small. Um, and then the glue I use for the, the super glue is the BSI um, Instacure. And then I will also use the, um, the Tamiya Extra Thin before paint um, if I'm uh, welding a, or melding anything together. But Overall, happy with the kit. You know, the two-tone paint job came out good. I'm happy with that. I use the, um, always use the Tamiya tape when I when I do my two-tone tapes. This is very pliable. Um, goes around corners really, really nice. Um, and then, of course, for the windows, I use the um, good old-fashioned testers. Clear parts glue. Um, I don't really go through too much what I use all the time, so I figured I would uh, go through the step-by-steps of what I use. I was going to decal this one up, but I didn't. Um, but I did do the bare metal foil on the side here. Uh, I gave it a shot again after years with the new stuff. It, it fought me a little bit, but um, it eventually came out okay for the bare metal foil. Um, and there again, I used the, uh, the scale finishes. Um, on both uh, the two t the base color and then the, the accent points. But there she is, the AMT Superbug Gasser. Um, there's some of the art of the box. It does come with a display that you can build on this, um, like a little cardboard display stand for like a diorama type of thing, but I did not choose to do that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I had issues with. Not too much besides the interior dashboard, not knowing where it goes really, or nothing in the instructions on where to, to seat it or place it, um, which I found kind of odd. But uh, there she is. I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Thanks.